on world, it's your boy Big Chips. Sun's a little bright this AM, so I'll try to be mindful. But today, uh, you know, I don't know what I want to talk about. I think I want to talk about not selling. You know, one of the biggest things that I see wrong with this industry is everybody selling something. It doesn't matter where you go, where you turn, somebody is trying to sell you something. And although you got to make sales in order to, you know, make it through, you know, my biggest issue with all of it is that it's simple like this. People know when they're trying to be sold. People know when you don't really care about them. And I see it every day, especially if I go to meetings, if I go to, you know, a uh, little social mixer type things, where people just kind of, they're like vultures. They just, they flock at you or, you know, like a, like a rabid dog, they smell blood and they come running. And the problem of it is, is where everybody thinks that they're all smooth and they know what they're talking about. They know their product. They're going to make a sale. You actually repulse people. You push people away from that, which you really want done. And that's to change their life or to sell them on whatever your product or your program is, you know, and I was talking to a gentleman last night and here's the deal. He, he needs help. He needs something done. And he's talked to a bunch of people about it. Now my price on the situation is just as much as what other people would charge. Not saying that they would do a better job because they don't have that personal factor. I mean, but the point of what it was, was I wasn't going to sell. I was going to see if I could work with him. See if we could even work together because I need to know that you can, that we mesh well before I even try to you know, make some money off of it. And from that standpoint, by the end of the conversation, I never even tried to sell it. I never even said anything. I said at the end, I said, you know, and if this does become a perfect fit and everything works out, there's that something I was telling you about. And all this good jazzy stuff, you know, I know that this is what we can do and this is just being nice, just being cordial. Because I'm saying, you know, I don't know if you're gonna choose me. I don't know if you're gonna wanna work with me. I don't even know if you like me. <laughs> but if you do, and we do to work together, I look forward to it. If not, I appreciated the time. I appreciated getting to meet you and hear a little bit about your history. And I mean, I was being real because I did. I love to meet new people. I love to hear about it because you never know when you might run into somebody and they'd be like, hey, I need your service. Hey, I need to talk to you about something. You know, I honor the relationship. And from that point, before I walked out of the door, he was already giving me, he might as well have put cash in my pocket. That's how sure he was by the end of the, our conversation. And I never tried to sell him. I just tried to show him no matter what you do, no matter which direction you go, no matter who you work with, these are the things you need to, to do. These are the things you need to have ready. It's going to save you time. It's going to save you money. And people like the tedious stuff done first. I said, so if I can help you on that one, there you go. And you bought it. All right. So all that to say, when you're selling a product, when you're in a company that sells things, you know, whether that be services, whether that be products, whether that just be training, who knows? Stop selling people. Stop trying to just go for the jugular and go for their pocket. People know that. When you're so hungry to make a sale, it comes off as that. You know, to, to a lot of people, it'll come off as greed. And that may not be you. I mean, you may not, you may honestly not be a greedy person. You may be just so smitten with your products that you can't help but sell it. 
But you got to remember this. If you want to succeed and you want to make money in this industry, if all you do sell people, yeah, you're going to get sales, but your people are going to quit. Your people are going to start returning the product. They're going to order it and they're going to feel cheated. They're going to feel slighted like you did something dirty. You manipulated them. And they may buy that product, but then they're going to remember you as the person that sold it. And it becomes dirty. It becomes something that's unnatural. Whereas you build a relationship, whether you get the sale right then or not, you build the relationship. You build their trust. You build something that's way more, sorry, I'm trying to get the sun out of the way. You build something that's way more than just a sale. You build a friend. Friends buy from other friends. Friends support other friends. So when you're sitting there and you're talking to somebody or they're talking to somebody rather, and that somebody says, man, I need to X, Y, Z. Oh, well, you need to talk to, you know, Jeremy, because he sells ABC. It's a perfect fit. And he's such a great guy. He won't sell you. You know, he'll only help you where you need help. That comes along a lot different than just trying to sell somebody, trying to make a daggum dollar. You know, honestly, that's why my attrition rate is so low. My attrition rate is low because I try to help people. I retain customers because they want me to keep coming back. They want me to stay around. They want to keep talking to me. Because it doesn't matter what it is you do. It's cold as crap, man. I'm freezing today. But they want you to stay around. They want you to always be there to hold them caress them, hold their hair when they puke. <laughs> oh God. But you know what I mean. They just, they want you to be there. They want you to, they want to know that you care about them, not just care about their money. All right, so think about these things and implement it in your business today. Stop trying to sell people and start helping people. There's a difference between closing somebody and selling somebody. If you're still trying to sell at the end of the conversation, you didn't do your job in the first deck in place. All right? And I'll talk about closing probably tomorrow's video since I'm talking about today. So that's it. It's your boy Big Chips here with my seven minute, seven and a half minute ramble. Hope you got some value. If you did, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. If you're on Facebook, leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. If there's something you want to learn about, let me know. Talk to me. Else I just turn on the camera and say, what am I going to talk about today? Yeah, it's what I do. It's what I do. So, make it a great day. I dare you.